Good day, Negros Oriental. This is Kaila Harantilia, bringing the hottest and latest news for today. For the headlines, Power 91 FM Radio Station talks about the rule of journalists in covering environmental issues. Clarissa Balansag has the news. Thank you, Kaila. So we are here live at Power 91 at a radio station, and we have Mr. John Navarro, the assistant station manager and one of the news anchor and reporter. So good morning, sir. What are your role as a journalist in covering environmental concerns or issues? All right. So thank you no, for, for visiting us here in Power 91. Actually, the, the, the role of a journalist is to, to write, to give information, uh, to give details on issues uh, that is kind of concerning our uh, specifically environment, our place, our city, our uh, province. And uh, a journalist also uh, gives details to people uh, through write-ups, through uh, news uh, articles, and as well as giving information through radio and television. So what specific strategies do you employ in order to promote local action? Uh, if you're going to set an example on garbage, we will be uh, making some write-ups and also as uh, me as a, a radio announcer I'm going to well, tell the people the do's and don'ts of uh, uh, segregating the, the garbage, uh, the segregation of uh, the malata and the malata and as well as how can we reduce uh, garbage especially in our home, how can we, uh, how can we uh, tell the people through the airwaves of what are they going to do in order for us to lessen uh, the garbage in our community. All right, so that's all. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Uh, John Navarro, uh, live here in Power 91 FM radio station, this is Clarissa Balansag reporting. Thank you, Clarissa. Coming next, the Norsonian staffs took part in addressing garbage problem at Norso. And we'll be back after a short break. This portion is brought to you by the Association of Environmental Journalists of Negros. And we're back. The Norsonian staffs took part in addressing garbage problem at Norso. Live at Negros Oriental State University. Sarah J. Ramirez, bring it on. Negros Oriental State University is in the grip of waste management problem resulting a big pile of garbage at the back of the ST building. What is the current situation in the garbage near the ST building? On the buildings and grounds office, we are currently coordinating with the city environment and natural resources in order to dispose of the garbage. And right now, they are also intensifying their awareness and in order to address the problem, which actually causes a lot of health issues within the students, the faculty, and the staff alike in the Gross Oriental State University. Actually, I received a lot of criticisms with the news that I wrote about the garbage at the back of the SD building. But of course, since I'm a journalist, it's really imperative that we have to take stand with our principle, with integrity. As they said, professional integrity has always been the cornerstone of journalism. So as much as possible, we shouldn't be like focusing more on um, disseminating information, but also we can also be a catalyst for the people, for anybody. So of course, as a PN staffer, I'm also doing my job in order to intensify awareness among students about proper segregation on how can we become a, an instrument for the school itself. And of course, we are the steward of this environment. It needs a collaborative effort within the students and the teachers. This is the latest news of the day. This is Sarah J. Ramirez reporting. Back to you, Kyla. And that were the top stories for today. This is Kyla Havantilia, serving for the people, for equity and for the supremacy of truth. This is the Dorsonian Pools.